Okay, in this 2.7 Blender lesson for advanced beginners, I'm going to show you how to put these rigid bodies into motion real quickly. It's a great, great technique to know if you don't know it, and for beginners, sometimes it's not well known. So I basically have the plane. I'm going to add a passive rigid body to it here, so nothing can fall through it. Turns it green. For this cube, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to add it as active. All right. So now this will fall with gravity. I'm sure you've seen this. So you press Alt A and it falls. If it doesn't bounce very well, you can come over here to the physics tab like this and you can just crank up the bounciness a little bit and that'll help it bounce if you want. All right. But sometimes you want to make things kind of explode into, you know, action shots. So one of the coolest ways to do it is, and I use this in many different occasions, is basically physics-based objects don't like to coexist on top of each other based on their boundaries. In this case, it's bounded by this box. Well, it's a convex hull, but you could actually make it a mesh if you had it some shape that was different than just a straight cube like that. But this will work for fine for this. So the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this object here. Now that it already has a rigid body set, I'm going to press Shift D and I'm going to set it in place. Then I'm just going to press F3. You can see now it's cube.001 that's active. I'm going to press F3 and then I can duplicate the object. Right? And you can see it's O2. So I'll just do this a few times. And depending upon the way these objects are stacked on top of each other, it'll give you different effects. And you can ex play around with it. And you can actually generate quite a bit of control over this. So there's actually 20 cubes in the scene, even though I see w one. So when I run this with all day, you're going to see what happens. No, actually, let's do something. Let's add it, give it a particle system as well while we're at it. On one of them, we'll just crank up some particles. Yeah, okay. So we should have some particles in here when it plays. All right, let's see what happens all day. And there they go. There's that one that's got the particles on it. If I put the particle system on it in advance, then they'd all have the particles like that. So I'm not applying any forces to this. I don't have to know about the mass in advance or, you know, th worry about things like that. It's quick and easy, so it's quick and easy fun. All right? All right, well, then in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to mix something like this with maybe some spoke effects so you can have some extra effects as well. All right, see you in the next lesson.